Come on, I've got to ask before we start today's episode. Are you good? Like, collectively, you all, are you are you fine? Do you want me to speak to someone on your behalf? The amount of comments on yesterday's episode I got that were, oh no, yeah, why'd he make the bug lady so hot? Well, he's made another waifu, why is she so attractive? What part of her kidnapping people and forcibly implanting them probably very painfully with her genes is so universally arousing to you people? I didn't sit there in character or anything, I'm gonna make a waifu. I just made a, what I thought was body horror. This girl got the same sexual attraction level as like a Lego man. Like a real fucking sexy Lego man. Damn, Kayadi Bundy. What about the droid attack on the Wookiees though? Any Vrimor character that's vaguely hourglass shaped, everybody in the comments, who's this waifu? I'm just not looking at this character and thinking, wow, what a sexual being. <laughs> <laughs> we return to the adventures of the apparently irresistible Bugsy and her brand new pirate bug husband, Cervantes. You stop that right now. You stop that shit. I've only just got that out of my head. And welcome once again to this very lovely hive. I will be the first to admit, maybe I dedicated a little bit too much time, the entirety of yesterday's episode, to building a base. I mean, it's a lovely base. It's already off to a fantastic start as far as I'm concerned. It's too big for three people, sure. Today I'm gonna shift the focus back to the characters themselves rather than the environment they're in. I wanna, I wanna build these people up. I wanna get to know Cervantes, the pirate man who has now become uh, the bug prince consort, I suppose, king consort. We've got Luxembourg who uh, we can finally put to good use on the actual intellectual side of things, the actual research front, and then Bugsy herself, budding queen of this hive Bugsy. Are they bees? Are they moths? I don't know, I haven't decided quite yet. Other people seem to also miss my point about how over time we're gonna develop them into the perfect bug people. We're gonna take a lot of different people from a lot of different factions, bring their genes together, and then slowly build the ultimate bug over the course of the series. We're gonna try and build that, that genetic hive, and then at the end of things, we'll get the toxic community and uh, the hypothermia slowdown, and the pollution stimulant, all the things that the bugs in the base game have, would be a little overpowered, Luxembourg, if we started the bloody campaign with that. I just thought I, I would re-explain, oh my god. It's, what a sizable hand you have, sir. Hmm. So here we are, day 71, with three recruits and a very lovely base. I think it's finally time we begin some research. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's throw down a couple of research benches. I think we could probably afford that. Now, bear in mind, we start with uh, nothing. The very, very basic tribal stuff. The very basic Neolithic research. So what we've got are um, stools and research benches. And we're going to build that out of the bones of our enemies. Or in this case, generally, it's like a bunch of alpaca bones. Bear in mind, the research is entirely random. Not semi-random. Not random with the reroll. Totally, utterly random, and I'm sure I'm gonna regret it in a few episodes. We do have props and decorating and that type of thing, but that's already, that's already done. You don't need research for that. I've already sorted that out, don't panic. The one thing I don't think that I've sold enough is the fact that we're a hive mind. Now, strictly speaking, all that that means is they share mood, right? Their individuality is still intact, but this does also mean characters that are sanguine or characters that say, uh, even characters that say love smoke leaf that we can provide easily for them will make for better colonists than they might normally make for, right? Because they can add on to the colony mood pretty massively. As soon as they wake up, uh, any time now, I'm going to turn this middle chamber into the ideology room, I think. We'll get our basic ideology rank set up so that I stop being constantly sad about it. That's three times the sadness. What the hell is going on there? <laughs> An emu, emu called orbit. <laughs> Fell from orbit. There we go. Wow, that looks hideous. <laughs> Bugsy <laughs> gets to be Hive Queen. Congratulations, I mean, you already are. Oh, God. Oh, there are horrible spiders. <laughs> That's really cool. I don't know if I like that. It's very Lion King circle of life, isn't it? Except it's horrifying bugs everywhere. That's great. Then we have the roles of Pheromone Secreta, our, our moral guide, the person in charge of conversion. And then we have... Oh, a brood herder, and we also have the hive digger. Um, I presume the insectoid herder needs good animal skill, though, right? That might not even matter. Oh, do we want Cervantes to be... Yeah, you know what? I, I think you being the pheromone scrutter makes a lot of sense, given that you somehow managed to make Queen Bugsy fall in love with you. Must be some strong pheromones going on there. Oh, so spooky. <laughs> Those aren't spiders. Those are beetles. You can tell now that I've zoomed in a little bit more. Perfect. And then finally, we need to get ourselves basically whatever we can give to you. Oh, we can make you a hive digger. It'll disable everything but mining. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think we really need that much mining right now. Um, 
I think I'll make you brood herder. The person that's in charge of managing all the other insects? Oh, shit. It cancels everything else, though. Oh, Christ. Also gives us the ability to do a hive burial and an insectoid him. That's cool. But we do disable everything else. You know what? God damn it. I'm in. Luxembourg, this one's for you, my friend. I'm going to give you a very special colony role, given that you were basically our first proper recruit, right? Given that Savance has joined from a, from a quest. That might only be temporary, though. She can still do doctoring, which is the thing I was wanting. But don't forget, she was a good crafter and a good researcher. We could always swap her and Savance's over at some stage just to open that back up. But for the time being, I, I want to see what this does. Construct a nest. Construct an insectoid nest that produces insect jelly. A successful insectoid hymn ritual must be conducted to reduce the cooldown of this. Oh, shit. Then we can also tame insectoids. Target insectoid creature and tames it instantly. What we should do is, is build a cave to attract insects to it. We could, we could pollute the area ourselves to get more insects to turn up so that we can tame them to help defend the colony a bit more. Given that the people we've got right now are, um, they're shit. Can we? <laughs> I presume we can't do it on the Kwama. They're just minding their own business. I'm not gonna, not gonna worry about them. They're, they're just living their best life. Let's build some nests by the, by, I guess we can send this into the kitchen. Do insects really have kitchens? Let's chuck that there. What does this do then? Oh, horrible. Oh, that's cool. So it just produces insect jelly automatically. Oh, wow. I mean, that would save having to farm, wouldn't it? Then we can have an insectoid him to reduce the cooldown. And it also gives the mood quality as well. Oh, we've got to do it. 43% because the room's pretty crap. Oh, we can sort that out. Hang on. Like I said, I haven't really decided what type of insects we are. We could be bees. We could be, uh, you know, like an ant hive. Just completely mindless workers. I, I have no clue. Whether we're going to be friendly or evil insects, I'm not sure. Let's stick some plant pots down anyway. I know not every bug is, is into flowers, but it does help with the insect. And 51%. It's on cooldown. Let's give it a go. Let's see what happens. It is going to take three hours, though. Absolutely destroying the workday. Luxembourg spoke about how extreme the colony is. Yeah, you're goddamn right. Talks about the terrible honesty of the colony's enemies. Rousing insectoid him. Apparently very bloody rousing, given the comments I saw yesterday. Very nice. That has completely refreshed the cooldown of the nest building ability. Oh, sweet. Well, I'll come in here and build me another nest then, damn it. Here you go. Actually, this might work better for Bugsy in hindsight. Ah, oh, and then make Savantes, what, like, colony leader? And then make you... The moral guide. Oh, maybe that would have made way more sense. Bugsy's the person taming the insect who is building the nest, but that would also make it so Bugsy can only only do social, animal handling, and doctoring, which, to be fair, kind of suits her skill set. We just don't have a good builder yet. I presume we maintain this the same way we maintain any building, right? We just get Bugsy to come over here and repair it? No? They just degrade naturally over time. Uh, the nest will need maintenance by a colonist with the insect who had heard a roll. If the maintenance reaches zero, the nest will be destroyed. How do I get you to maintain that? Maybe she'll just maintain it automatically when it drops too low. Uh, just in case, I will throw some points into uh, handling, training. Uh, sure, let's do it all. It could be what? It could be refueling. I have no clue. Let's just hope she does it automatically. Oh my god, we haven't even got shelves. How on earth can you build bed rolls and stitch that together and build very nice tables with fancy symbols on top, but you don't know how to build a bloody shelf? It's just a block of wood. You Put stuff on, you weird people. Fine, we'll put the damn mushrooms on the floor. I'm not happy about it. Friend, my friend Marcia. Marcia, I presume that's pronounced fuckers. Marcia fuckers, I mean, what's going on here? You're going to offer a random tribal nation an infinite cam reactor. Carnivorous gene pack. Again, it's completely up to us what we do with our insects, right? That's the, that's the beauty of the hive. It's going to be completely... Oh, take replacements? She lost a damn mind. Oh, we got coagulite. That heals everything, as far as I recall. I mean, an infinite cam reactor this early on would be nice. And again, it's not as if we are a Neolithic nation. Bugsy escaped from a high-tech lab. She's just got to try and figure out how it all works, huh? Ah, Ten man hunting foxes. I've got to fight that off with two people, though, because... Savantis can't do violent. To be fair, if we put Warden at the gate, and then we had... Bugsy there, Luxembourg there, shooting down... Ten foxes might not be that bad. I'll take the gamble. Live a little. Live a little, why not? Oh, a friend. Oh my god, they're even sending friends to help out. I didn't even read that part. Uh, a champion will be placed under your control with a Zeus hammer. That's probably good enough to kill a fox. Sure. Hello. Oh my god, a Zeus hammer, a sword, and a dagger. My god. And you've got a mini turret pack. <laughs> oh, we're going to be fine. This is going to be amazing. Hello there, Sidonia. I don't suppose I could interest you in total bug supremacy, could I? Zapped. 
Damn it. <laughs> Can I implant in temporary faction members? Oh, that's unfortunate. Well, I tried. Never mind. Carry on. Is that a pack of men hunting foxes? Ah, there we go. They're not immediately attacking. I, we've seen this loads of times before. I'm not entirely sure why sometimes they don't attack right away. It does cause Berserk Rage. We do still need to kill them to complete the quest, though. This actually works much nicer for my plan. I'm trying to wonder if there's a way I can have my cake and eat it, too. And I'm sure there's a couple of you wondering, why on earth would you do a quest for the Empire? Even if you are going to get a big chem fuel reactor out of it. Doesn't Bugsy hate the Empire? Wasn't she captured in a lab, tortured, and mutated into a horrible bug person by the Empire? And yeah, yeah, you'd be right. But what if there's a way that we could get our pods? Is Bugsy okay? She's fine. Get the pods. And also get a little gift out of it as well. The Vanties? Arrest that man. <laughs> Start with the Empire. Oh, what a terrible shame that we've taken one of their best soldiers with all this armor and all this weaponry. Champion of the Empire with 13 melee, tough, and iron will. I'd say that's a pretty good deal. I think that worked out pretty damn well. Poor sweet precious Sidonia. Oh, you can put your shield generator up. It won't help you now. Oh, this is good. <laughs> Let's take you to bed. I don't know why I can't strip them. Uh, I'd really like to take that mini turret pack off of them, but uh, apparently it's not allowed. I guess it's because now they still count as uh, temporary guests, so we can't change their clothes or anything like that. We are going to turn you into a mighty bug warrior, my friend. We have all sorts of bug weapons and armor, and not just the things in the Idea Legion style, actual researchable bug weapons and armor. And taking one of the Empire's champions and turn them into a, a mighty bug warrior, defender of this colony. That seems pretty good. And there was a good suggestion in the comments yesterday that we build a kind of insect car system like insects tend to have with warriors and workers and royal guards and that type of thing. And little Sidonia couldn't be a more perfect candidate. So the second they're out of their Xena germination coma, we're going to stick them right on for a conversion ritual. There we go. So we can maintain our nests when they drop below 50% by the looks of it. Perfect. Oh my God, that's going to be so much jelly if we can keep it all maintained. Might be a full-time job for Luxembourg, but I mean, what an honor. Maintaining the colony's jelly supply and mental breaks might be the thing of the past. Look at this. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the mood. 96%. Uh, don't get me wrong. I am fundamentally aware that the second we get any sort of psychic droner, it doesn't matter who it's targeting. It's going <laughs> to it's gonna destroy the place. Oh, the Treaty of Gold Poplock. I guess they're pigs then with a name like that. Hello. Oh my god. What are you wearing? Look at the style of them. Holy crap. Me too when our people are naked and injured. I don't think I like this idea, but we get to add piggies to the hive mind. We get to add piggies to the hive mind. Watch this. This is big brain time. Boom. Get webbed. Nice. Warden, get them. We hold them in place. Warden rips them apart. Yes. Oh, this is big brain. This is big brain time. Get him, Warden. Yeah, please like get him, Warden, though. <laughs> this is good. I don't know if the webs already helped out that much, but this 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 should be fine. 87%. Oh, you're done for. 33. I got so big brain. This without this wag, we'd have died episode one. <laughs> Get him. Don't let him escape. Warden! Warden! I needed that! Oh, for God's sake! So much for adding pig's genetic material. Get him. Bring him down. Okay, don't kill him, don't kill him, don't kill him. We need a little variety in this colony. Nice! And we've got another... Why did we not just use the... Your Honor, no further questions. <laughs> it's so big brain in all the wrong ways. This entire channel is me making problems for myself and then solving them in a, in a very unnecessary way. <laughs> I'm sure the Dominion of Eternity just uses you as cannon fodder, as opposed to us, who are going to use you as cannon fodder. It was beer brewing. That was our first random research. Oh, great. <laughs> Are insects known to drink a lot of beer? Bugsy, if you could, my friend. Oh, beautiful pig bug. This is going to be impossible to keep track of what everyone's got. A dozen Xeno genes and then a dozen germline as well. I think let's convert you over first because Lynx is almost done, right? 53% expected quality. Go on. Let's give it a go. I mean, I don't know about you all, but this would certainly convince me to join. It's very, very threatening aura, isn't it? Effective commercial ritual down to 65%. All right, well, see you in a month. I mean, why not? There isn't much else to do right now, huh? Luxembourg has nothing to do. Bugsy's just kind of standing around. So I heard you kids love mushrooms. That must be Lynx. There you go, at long last. Welcome to the colony, my friend. Long last. 
Hello. What are you good at, little links? Uh, not a lot. Harvesting, growing, fine. Oh, happy day. Maybe that's because we've actually finally got enough people to have a marriage ceremony. Oh, that's lovely. That's so nice. They didn't invite Luxembourg, the one who's been here from the start. What are you doing? <laughs> Why? Why didn't you invite Luxembourg? Everybody's friends here. It's all a hive mind. Well, I suppose in some way Luxembourg's here. You're in spirit. Actually, I'd really like you to come over here and celebrate, though. Fishing our area. You really don't want to stop, do you? Come over here and celebrate. For God's sake. Oh, it's shared mood. It's shared mood. Who cares? Uh, is that 100% mood? Holy crap. 80% for you. We're up to 74% for you. This might be the happiest colony I've ever had in my whole life. Look at the mood. Look at the mood. I think we may have peaked. The average colonist mood was 95%. <laughs> uh, they finished the research and it didn't pop up. Why wouldn't it have popped up? It popped up the first bloody time. I'm just going to build a crafting spot and see what we can throw together. See what... Oh. See what super magical bug research we ended up with. The bone armor would be good for the bugs. I actually think that could be quite nice. Let's, make, let's always make sure we've got one of those in the stockpile. That seems like an alright idea. What else you got for me? Quivers and bows. At this stage of the game, actually not, not terrible. Like a war mask? Do you think there's an insectoid war mask? I want to stick to the insectoid theme. I want to make sure that we're trying to make what they've got. Uh, visage mask. Okay, so there's one of those. Uh, marine helmet, recon helmet, cataphract helmet. Oh, cool. We could always add more styles. I mean, the morbid style might fit quite well. The rustic style might not hurt either. Okay, hear me out. What do you think of this for a lineup? We've got insect. Obviously, that makes perfect sense. Then after that, we've got one that's so massive it's off the screen. That is our totemic. Then we've got morbid eldritch, which I think is kind of appropriate here. Doesn't really add anything new. And then animalist, if there isn't anything else replaced before then. Oh, and morbid, of course, which I think only adds... Wow. Totemic basically adds everything. Holy crap. Why? How? Iron willed? Oh! <laughs> oh, for God's sake. So it's basically going to be impossible to convert Sidonia unless we get that masterful conversion ritual. Oh, for God's sake. What about Martin? How's Martin going along? You're just chemical interest. Hey, that's not bad. We just give you a load of drugs then to keep you happy, but then in turn, that'll keep the whole colony happy. I mean, not that we have to worry about that right now, given that Mood is basically at 100%. What's wrong with Luxembourg? Cold. Uh, you are naked uh, and out there fishing, and it's six degrees. Okay, I'll make you some clothes. I'll make you a little... Uh, maybe I should swap the... Uh, maybe I'll swap the rolls around a little bit more, because Luxembourg was a good crafter. All right, let's redo the rolls here. So they're all pretty shit at social, but Bugsy at least had some points in social from having to recruit everyone before, right? And has still been building it since. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to give you uh, a pheromone secretor. Ooh, weapons, hello. And then after that... I'm going to give Cervantes the uh, the role that Bugsy had. Hive King. That seems very appropriate, given that he's married to Bugsy. And then, given that Lynx isn't really doing much right now, and Luxembourg is a fantastic... I I'm sure we'll find a better herd later on, but Luxembourg's a fantastic crafter, right? So, Lynx, you get to become the brood herder. Uh, to be fair, we do also have that mining rank. Uh, you know, we, we don't need that one so urgently for the time being. And that frees up Luxembourg to do... Not only like a, a crazy amount of research, but also all the crafting too. Yeah, I think I think that was the right move. I think that was a good idea. Presume we can make tribal wear. Yeah, let's go ahead and throw one of those together first. Maybe we'll always keep one in storage as well. I don't need ten. Let's just keep one in one in one. My brother in Christ. Keep one of those in storage, and then you can start work on making yourself an outfit. There you go. You're welcome. Ninety-eight down to ninety-seven. We can't break Sidonia. It's going up faster than. It's going down. That's so annoying. <laughs> ah, okay, well, it was pretty poor use of the commercial ritual. How long we got? Six days on that one. Okay, fine. You know what? It'll work. Go put some clothes on. Despite the comment section, this isn't that kind of playthrough. Oh, look at Bugsy now. Oh, that's good. I like that. That's a good look. Matches the wings. Well, I mean, it doesn't quite match the wings, but it means next time we're attacked by pig people, we haven't got a cow behind the wog. I mean, I'm still going to. <laughs> oh, we can have a him. Yes. Him to the insects. It's a little... I mean, it's a little self-aggrandizing, isn't it? You are insect. We're gonna have a hymn to how great we are. Well, we know that the satisfactory one resets the cooldown on the hive anyway, on, on constructing a... Oh! No, I was gonna say maybe the masterwork one or the, the highest quality has a different bonus. Guess we'll never know. Thanks, Lynx. You're fired. Oh my god! Even with the convert power! 
<laughs> Another manhunt pack again. My God. Hello. Manhunting huskies. Like three of them. <laughs> what is our colony wealth that we're already getting this? It's only 33,000. Hey, a uh, big brain idea. I decided not to take these apart and drag all the components and steel over because they're not hurting anybody sat there and it's just going to increase the colony wealth, right? So we don't need to, we don't need to worry about that. Bugs aren't interested in components. I'm sorry. Oh, lovely walk to the front lines. Uh, get in here. Oh, you huskies are in a lot of trouble. Now, Warden! Fleeing! <laughs> you little penis. Oh, for fuck's sake. Fine, fine. You know what? We've, we've actually got a really good position here. Because the huskies can only hit Luxembourg. But we can we can all hit the huskies. Get them. Oh, I mean, they can go on the diagonal, I suppose. But they can only attack one person at a time. Oh. That was way easier than that. Wow, no one got hit at all. Brilliant. I should have had more faith. Less faith in you, Warden, you little penis. I'm only kidding. If anything happened to Warden, I would I would nuke this planet. We would glass it. Oh, mate. 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 Let me let me let me let me pose you a question. This might be the best question you've ever had. What if every era the bugs have a different style? Like try and keep as many bug related outfits as possible going, of course. What if uh, hold on a second, we'll have to build a hand tailor bench. Ah! We'll have to build a hand tailor bench. What if one era, the tr oh like like Neolithic we are right now, bone bugs. Then what if industrial era? Cowboy bugs. And then uh, space era, we get marine bug, pirate bugs. No, no, no more of that. There's a lot of bug outfits, but it's gonna be a long time before we get toxic weaponry. To, to fit with the bug theme. And there are bug weapons, right? The, the Mega Scrambits. That's from the uh, the Insectoid Armor and apparently Insectoid Weapons mod as well. So we can do that, sure. But we haven't got the research for it yet. So what if we go for cowboy bugs? What if we go cowboy bugs? <laughs> I'm trying to justify it to myself. Once I, I get it. I think I think for the time being, we stick with the bone armor. Because that's fearsome, right? It shows that we mean business. We're building armor out of the, the bodies of our foes while we establish a new hive. That seems pretty good. But then... What if after that we flip to a different style? When we're a bit more of a, an established civilization. I mean, it's not going to be body horror, though, isn't it? Ooh. Complex clothing and then complex furniture. Wow. Oh, oh, now I need a, a throne room. And for the first time ever, I've built the rooms with, a, with an odd number of sides so we can actually fit a 3x2 throne in. Okay. Hold on. Bugsy needs a throne room. Let's throw a throne room right at the top here. So it's the deepest one in the mountain. That could be the queen chamber. And then I want to actually move the prism back. At least a couple of... Uh, I'm not going to make it uniform the entire way around. We'll make it like a... Like like not symmetrical. We'll push the prison. We could always put it like right down here. Right deep into the hive. And... Any moment now. Come on. There you go, Martin. Wait. Who was that? The, come back out here. Oh... <gasps> Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, that must be the insect style visage mask then. Oh, that's so good. A little Martin. Martin, what are you good at, my friend? Have you also put one on? Wow, -y. I mean, it's a hell of a look, isn't it? Double passion in mining. Oh, critical and intellectual, though. That'd be really good keeping you as a researcher. I want to use up that mining rank as soon as possible, the, the, the special role. But I also don't know if now's really the right time for it. Just get you on, let's just get you on research instead. We need a lot of stuff before we get out to, you know, the whole bioengineering thing. Holy shit, and you've also got seven social, despite the fact that you're, uh... Do the pig people have good social? Uh... Awful social, social minus eight. But then you've, you've got 7.5... Oh, learn level 15! My god, man! You never know, one day we might be able to remove that gene entirely. Oh, well, that's amazing. You are a much, much better warden. Holy shit. Oh, that is so cool. Yeah, there you go. So we can see all the different styles there. Obviously, we're going to style it in our one. It'll be that by default. But then I want to dye it so it looks a bit more... A bit more chitinous in color. That one's pretty good. Hang on, let me just tweak this slightly. Need a few more bones first. Let's just bring you lot down here to shoot some deer. Oh, and we can throw it on a butcher table too, which I think should give us more bones as well as the extra meat on top of it. Wow. We've come so far today. Change all the styles on the stuff I've already built then to be totemic. Now we've got that one in. Oh, that looks better. Yeah, I'm happy with that. Here we go. Okay, it's starting to look a little nicer. I'm not I'm not super happy with the base quite yet, but it's getting there. I put together a little palette for them in our Dub's paint shop. So we're going to have kind of insectoid. These two I haven't done anything with yet. And I know loads of people come into the paint stuff in the base game. I know you can. It's just a lot more restrictive. You can only choose from kind of whatever set colors there are and then the eyedropper tool to actually select existing color only works on stuff that you've painted with the paint building tool so it's not really that useful i mean it's good it's better than what we had which was nothing 
<laughs> okay, that was the one I was really hoping to get today. Now I can die happy. Firstly, uh, you can go sleep somewhere else. To the recreation room with you. We probably should make like a... Like little bedrooms for all the little hive workers. But then again, their moods are all shared, so we've got to try and keep them happy. Well, we'll figure it out. Uh, I want, if you don't mind, a little smithy. A little fueled smithy. Show me the insect armor. Show me the insect. We've got the bone armor, obviously. That's that's fantastic. Whoop. Mega spider armor. Oh. An armor made from a mega spider corpse. Its own texture inside makes the user feel horrible. I can't make that joke. <laughs> and you thought Bugsy was a waifu. You lose social impact, but you gain negotiation ability. That's weird. I suppose it makes sense. You lose a lot of move speed too, but I imagine it's quite good armor, though, if it's made of a bloody hell. <laughs> the big star. <laughs> I, it's not bad. It's certainly not bad. I presume it also has quality levels too. So for an early game thing that you make out of spider corpses, it's not bad. Of course, we're not going to be the ones to kill the spider corpses if the spiders attack us. Insects fight other insects all the time. But if, if the insects attack us, we'll stop them. And if they die in the process, then of course, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll do something with their bodies. We won't let them go entirely to waste. They'll defend us in the afterlife. But obviously, we do want to try and tame them as much as possible, right? With Lynx's power. I think it might not be a bad idea to open up a bunch of caves just to see if we can... Let's dig a cave. Just to see if we can encourage them to actually turn up a little bit. Let's just do something like that and connect it down. If we go through this steel, we're killing two birds with one stone. Because then we're also getting a shitload of steel. Got anything else? We're prototyping. Means we must be researching. Uh, what is that? Long swords, halberds, battleaxe, or sharp blades? Oh, look. Mega Scythe! A scythe made from a mega spider. That is the coolest shit for Queen Bugsy I've ever heard. We've got spears. We've got a spearlipede. You know what, Mod? You'd won me over, and now with that, you've just you've just lost me. It was long blades, and yes, I could look at the research screen and and cheat. I'm not gonna do that. I didn't go for regular random research, I went for semi-random research and set it to one possible research and then set them to auto research. So it's basically the same thing, but it means for people downloading the mod pack, they can change it how they like. Before anybody asks why I didn't just use regular random research. I wanna spin another blueprint off of here, going down there, and then we'll slowly build it through the mountains, kind of take the shape of the mountain. I think that would look nice, but I don't want to do it like identical on both sides, like I said. Nor would we be able to, because obviously it's not a symmetrical mountain space anyway. Body is ready. My body is ready for Bugsy with the Mega Spider armor. Maybe not the helmet so much, so that she seems a bit more regal, because obviously she's got that crown by default with her hairstyle. And then we'll also throw in that uh, Mega... There it is, the Mega Scythe for as well. Oh my god, Mace Scarab. <laughs> I'm not happy about it, but I respect it. The mega side for Bugsy is going to look amazing. I'm I'm ready for that one. Comment section, tell me. Still a waifu? Hmm. You still you still calling her a waifu? Still think I'm making only waifu characters, eh? Horrifying insect face, insect winged, insect bodied Bugsy. You think she's a waifu? You don't need to answer that. I know what the answer is going to be. The answer is going to be yes, because people on the internet watching video game content on YouTube, of course, it's going to be yes. <laughs> Thank you all for joining me. Wow, I'm excited to see where this goes. That insectoid model looks amazing. And like I said, I've never done any of the, neither the hive mind nor the insectoid um, meme from Alpha Memes. So this is going to be, this is going to be something different. I'm, I'm a big fan of this one. I like the theme. I, I was worried it'll be a little loose, but actually the restrictions have made some of the best what series beforehand right so anyway thank you for watching thank you for joining me today hope you're enjoying the adventures of bugsy i'm probably going to be starting a new series on the main channel soonish um because you know there's not really much going on in real life uh so i might might throw something else out there at least for the time being and then it's gonna get really busy again very soon so bear with me on that one thank you in the meantime to cake hardware dr simba to google nash eq an apple in solitude zafii archbishop cooley night rouge christian clark morgan wise john stoddard jeebus crust shadow shallow lions blubbish cower Sykes Saray, Erica, Brody Miller, the Raging Idiot, Speedy, Joel Morris, Hot Leaf Juice, mm. Patrick Paulia, Pang Power, Paul Messenger, The Longhoff, Anthony Frackenthal, and Noah for their support. The executive producer is over on Patreon. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for keeping the channel going. Uh, I said a bit on the Patreon video, but the YouTube analytics over the last month have been in the toilet while I've been like spending days, more days than I normally would, not with any content going out because I've been looking for a place to live, which to be fair takes precedent because without that I can't make content. Um, and it's it's just like destroyed the channel. Genuinely, even just a few days here and there has, has made a complete change to things. So uh, thank you for being part of the Patreon because then I don't have to worry about shit like that. Boring old YouTube politics. 
and I can say swear words. Thank you to Jimmy Bailey, Thora, Max Sharp, RT Party, JMO, L Vicroy, Farseeker, Blaze, Bo 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 Bo, Black Magic, Nilanthria. Lunatic, Untouched Wagons, Adrix, Antmaster, Blue Waffle, mm. Rashad810, Hurtful, Cheshire the Cat, Just Mash, Bleed, Blaticus, Monk, Cameron Hughes, Cheshire, Sotha, Siltstrider, Cascara, Yarrow, One Caribou, Ethan Hurst, and Liam Frostic as well. Join me tomorrow for the very anime insect Bugsy with her big, very unwieldy, very impractical scythe.